video will help you set up your Outlook automatic replies. I'm using Outlook 2010 today, so some of the features shown may not be available due to the version of Outlook you are operating. To access the automatic replies, find the File menu button, select Info from the drop-down menu, and then click on the Automatic Replies button. For viewers using an older version of Outlook, you're likely to just have a text field in which to put your message and a button to confirm and start the auto replies. With my version, I can opt to send the auto replies manually, or I can click only send during this time range to specify a start and end time for my messages to be sent. I usually designate my end time as 8 a.m. the day I'm returning to the office. The other neat feature I want to point out is that there are two message fields, one for email addresses inside your organization and one for email addresses outside your organization. As you can see, I have my out-of-office response from Independence Day set up here. I have a very informal message for my coworkers and a more detailed response for incoming emails that are not from within my network. It's important to communicate four things, how long you will be gone, when you will be returning, whether or not you will be able to access email while you're away, and who, if anyone, should be contacted in your absence. Remember, if you choose to manually turn off your auto replies, you'll have to return to File, Info, and then turn off the automatic replies when you return to the office. a request for a do-it-yourself video tutorial topic? Send the topic you'd like us to feature to marketing at simplesolutions.com.